Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafternoon. I hope you've been uh, having fun with the summer reading challenge and um, read some good books and done some good activities and been really creative and had a great time. Um, I'm really glad I miss Amy from the Moapa Valley Library and I'm really glad you guys have joined me so we can paint donuts today. All right, and while we're doing this, I'm gonna show you a fun little trick that can help to make your round things look more realistic. So we got a plain donut, we have a jelly donut, one with sprinkles and one with chocolate icing. Might do that one a little bit differently um, in this project, but you can see my jelly kind of splooshed out all over the place. Well, let me tell you what you are going to need. We've got water, as always. We've got a great paintbrush. Big bristles to hold water and a nice little point for details. Paint. Just normal paint will do. We've got markers and a pencil. And today we're also going to use a little bit of white paint. This is tempera, but any kind of white craft paint will work just fine as long as you can put water with it. And I've got a little plate for my white paint in a little bit and a sponge. Okay, let's get going. All right, so donuts. Here's a variety of donuts. You notice when you're looking at a donut that the sun, the light, appears to be coming from one particular direction. So in this case, the light is over here. And you can tell that because it's a little bit shadowy on this side of the donut. And in this case, it's in here as well. And that helps to make it look round on a flat surface. And so we're gonna show you a trick to learn how to do that. So grab your paper. Oh, we have watercolor paper too. And we are gonna put some circles on this. Donuts aren't perfectly round, so your circles don't have to be perfectly round either. You don't need to push very hard on the paper with your pencil. You just want a light circle. Yep, mine's very lopsided. And then put another circle inside it. Do that again. Try to fill up the whole box with your circle, but try not to make it look like it's a square donut. I guess you could do that if you wanted. Another circle in there. Same thing on this one. And there's the hole. And on this last one, we're just gonna do the outside circle. That's our jelly donut. They don't have a hole that you can see because they wanna fill it with jelly, which is fine with me. All right, so donuts are a nice toasty brown color. So we're gonna get some brown paint. And we're gonna mix just a smidge of yellow in it and put lots of water with it, kind of get it to look all light brown. There we go, that's a nice toasty color. All right, so on each one of these donuts, we're gonna paint them brown, but we don't go too fast. Okay, so. Fill the space in, and look, I'm going out of the, going out of the lines. That's okay though. We can fix that later. Okay, there's that nice toasty donut. It looks like I need to make some more of that nice brown color to do the other ones. I'm gonna have to clean out my yellow later. It's starting to get a little muddy. Okay, so let's do this one. Oh, this is really dark. I might need to add some more water to that. Okay. A 
Okay, great. All right, so before I move on to these other two, I need to do something to this one that will make it look like it's three-dimensional. We can make it a little bit darker brown and decide which direction you want your sunshine to be coming from. I'm going to do like that photo that I showed you, and I'm going to have the sun coming from this direction. So this side here will be the side that is shaded. Okay, and so you need to do this while this donut is still kind of wet so that you don't end up with a hard edge, you get a soft edge. So I just put a little bit of brown paint right along the side like that. Okay, and we're just going to let it do its thing. If while it's drying off it looks like it's getting lighter, I will add a little bit more but not much. Okay. Now for this donut, we are also going to put a little stretch of dark brown right past on this side. Okay, And then we are also going to put a little bit of brown just right in here because the sun can't hit that as well. The light comes from this direction and it hits this side and then on the way across the rest of the donut it hits over here but it doesn't really touch here and it doesn't touch there so that's where we're going to put our darker spots that look like a shadow okay and we're just going to let that bleed into the surrounding paint and give us a nice soft edge okay now these donuts here on the other side have an icing on them. So I think I'm going to sketch in very gently kind of a squiggly line so I don't forget and accidentally paint over where I want to actually have icing. So I'm just going to paint on the outside of these ones. So we'll do this one. a little bit more fiddly this way but it's okay if I go out of the lines because you know icing it just kind of splodges all over the place really okay follow that line around there Now for reference, I'm going to look at these other ones that I've done and remember where I've got that darker brown. And I'm going to put just a little bit using more of the tip on that same side of the donut as on the other ones. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Kind of splodgy, splodgy big blob of icing there. These are starting to make me hungry. Okay. Da, da, da. This one ended up being a little bit darker than the others, but that's all right. Not everything cooks evenly. Okay, and on the same side as all the others, I'm going to put that line of dark brown. Darker brown. Okay. See, you can already tell that they're starting to look a little bit more three-dimensional. Isn't that cool? And that was hardly any effort at all. I really like that. Okay, now you no might have noticed that we are going to need to add the dark side to this part and that part. But what are we going to do? This is what we're going to do. That one we're going to leave white, so I will show you that one in a minute. And uh, my icing might bleed a little bit into the rest of my donut. That's okay. I'm just showing you. Okay, so I'm going to mix up some red and put just a little bit of purple in it. 
and then I'm going to add a lot of water. So to make something like pink in watercolor, you either need to have pink watercolor or you take red and put a lot of water with it and the lightness will make it look like it's pink. So I'm going to paint my pink icing in here. See, it starts out looking red, but then it dries out a little bit and starts looking more pink. All the edges here. Oh, see, look, my brown's bleeding into my icing. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just add a teeny tiny bit more purple there. Mix, 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 and this is where this is what color I'm going to use for that dark bit on this side. Around that way. Du, 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 du. Okay, oops, I goobered. That's okay, because we're going to fix that in the last step. So, okay, so this other one over this way that we are going to have stay white, what I'm going to do is fill the whole icing area in with water. And I will tell you right now that donut's going to bleed into my icing because I haven't waited long enough for the paint to dry, but we'll just have to deal with it. Oops, water, not color, water. Okay, and then to remind me, I'm going to look where the dark bit is on that pink one and over here. And what we're going to do is put some really, really pale, pale blue. Have you ever notice sometimes shadows just look like they're blue? And they do look a little blue. So we're just going to put a little blue there. It looks a little bit dark now, but as time goes on, it's going to fade into the rest of the white and look just like a pale shadow. But it looks like I'm kind of losing my darkness over here with this one, so I'm going to try putting just a little bit more in. And the paint's still wet, so I can do that and it will bleed in. It's starting to look a little bit better. Okay, look at that. They're already looking almost good enough to eat. This might have been a mistake. I think I'm getting really hungry. Okay. All right. So, do your mindfulness practice. Watch the paint dry. And here we go. Here are the ones from before. You notice I've kind of, I was a bit sloppy there. But hey, you know, it happens. Okay, so this is where some of the other stuff comes in. This donut here is done. It's a plain donut and it looks delicious. All right, so, but we need to put some powdered sugar on this donut here. And that's where this paint comes in handy. So we're just gonna put a teeny tiny little bit because we're not gonna need very much. And what we wanna do is add some water to this. Because straight out of the bottle is too strong. So if you notice, I'm just kind of mixing this up with the water. See, and it's too thick on my sponge there. I think I'll have to use the other side. Squeeze it out. Because we just want kind of a moist wetness going on here that's got a little bit of white color in it. Okay, so got my paint on there. And we're just going to gently, don't push hard, just very gently tap your sponge onto your jelly donut. Ta da! It looks like powdered sugar. Go around and around and around, all the way to the edge, or just fill in a little space in the middle there. Okay, when that's dry, we will put a little splotch of jelly right in the middle so everybody can tell what kind of jelly donut it is. All right, so this one over here, 
I think we are going to do a nice drizzle of icing like they've got on some of these cupcakes here or donuts like they've got on the donuts so I'm going to do a drizzle of chocolate icing over my vanilla icing there so this one's pretty easy just get some of that nice toasty brown color we've been using maybe add a little bit more brown make it look more chocolatey okay right there on the tip and just very lightly don't push very hard back and forth over the donut skip over the hole okay There we go, so that one is now done. It's got a nice drizzle of chocolate on it. And for this one over here, we are gonna add some sprinkles. I've got chocolate and pink sprinkles. That's what the marker is for. So you can just go ahead and kind of do these little lines. The sprinkles, the jimmies, they're those long little lines like that on your donut. You could use a crayon, you could use a colored pencil. On the example that I, I showed you earlier, I had done a crayon, put it all over. So we're doing chocolate and these are raspberry sprinkles because apparently I like raspberry. You could do more than two colors, do three or four. Nice and festive. That's the party donut. All right, and we've got this one over here. So I'm just gonna get straight red out of the thing and put a splodge of red jam coming out of my donut. That looks nice. All right, they're essentially done. You can go ahead if you want and paint in the squares different colors like I had done in the example. Make those donuts pop like that. Have fun with it. But Try this technique out. See what other round things that you know of that you can make look three-dimensional. And Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a great summer. Don't forget to take that library card down to the library and see what you can do with it. All kinds of fun stuff. We'll see you later.